plenty ways. I can't let them stop the paper. Diamonds fresh cut like a table. I love me a snake in the grass. Cause that made a little pig gas. Keep it on the ass. Pound up the cheese like a grater. Honey switched up, you a traitor. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Alexander the Molar Gustafsson. You ready? You ready? Go ahead. All right, here we go. Round one, John Jones versus Alexander Gustafsson. And if anybody can talk about both sides of this matchup, DC, it's you. Your thoughts on their third meeting here tonight. Gustafsson has to make some adjustments. In the second fight, he looked a little bit lost. He looked as though he allowed Jones to make the necessary adjustments that he needed to make. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about guns. He's got him hurt very bad. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, Gustafson's overhand punch to the head looked good for a second, but ultimately that one gets blocked. Oh, man, he to be hit with one of those knees to the body. Man, no feeling out process whatsoever. These strikers are getting after it early. They don't like each other, and they are trying to get the opponent out of there right away. Oh, big left hand! Oh, my goodness! They're going at it here. Huge shots landing on both sides. Big right hand lands! Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Oh, that's the biggest shot to fight thus far. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Nice double leg shot. All right, so an opportunity goes by the Bulls. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to feel everything that he's gonna bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Oh, could get a finish soon. Looks like a Darce choke. Oh, that Darce choke is tight. Submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Good solid strike on the ground. Back to his feet. Big hook. Just out of range with that left hook. Gustafson's caught above the eye. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Ooh, look at the setup that he had for the misses. Oh, and there it is, maybe the seminal blow gets you. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Oh, there it is, that's that one, that right hand. Massive left hand. Oh, good. Back to his feet. Oh, big left hook there. Outstanding round and another five minutes. Come up. Heading back to the corner now and however deliberately, Jones has got a nasty cut above the eye. Cutman has his work to do here in advance of round five. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it's... You ready to fight? Ready. Second yeah. round here. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Quick entry to get Man, it on a that single. Was a great single. Oh, big slam takedown. That was beautiful. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, great.
complete reversal to top position by Alexander Gustafson. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Jones's eye now closing up. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat mouse, you gotta play cat mouse. Hit and don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Big right hand. Oh! Oh, knee strike right to the bottom. Left hook to the head. Just over three minutes to go. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Oh, cannot take too many hills. Oh, nice level change. All right, setting up the arm bar here. Beautiful setup on that arm bar. the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. to the knees he goes, that'll count. Well, the strike lands, but just not doing a whole lot of damage because his stamina is low. Head kick, that's a miss. Just misses with the left hook. Oh! Back to his feet. Big right hand. Still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Oh my goodness! Big knee to the body. Oh, nice oh, jab. Oh, and that oh, will do it. Oh my God! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight, landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. We get the official decision from Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 38 seconds of round number two. You're playing the winner by knockout, Alexander the Molar Gustafsson. Well, what else can you say about Alexander Gustafsson? That is one tough Swedish customer right there. A big victory here tonight. And when he is on point, as he was here in this building tonight, he looks to me like the best light heavyweight in the world. So perhaps another crack at the title will be next for the Mauler Alexander Gustafsson.